Happy to say that I will be featuring in tonight's ITV episode of Black Violet, where I will be playing a small but pivotal role alongside some great actors. Tune in for my first TV appearance in a year. Too much? Nah. I used to worry about things like shameless self-promotion. Never did it. But I think it's worked against me over the years. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the people know I'm not arrogant. Just add a little touch. So here we are, where all the magic happens. Emails, calls, correspondence. When did you film Black Violet? About a year ago, two months, 17 days, 10 hours. Two scenes with Sean Bean. My role was small but pivotal, you know? It's not easy for the likes of us. Your Daniel Kaluuya's, your Noel Clark's, Ashley Waters, John Boyega's, me. So what else is in the pipeline? Hey? As you said, it's not easy for top actors like yourselves. That's what this documentary is about, right? The rise of the modern black British actor. The highs, the lows, the pressures, and how, despite the obstacles, how you've all managed to carve out a career. Yeah, 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 because I heard your Jimmy Akinbona episodes up for awards. <laughs> no pressure then. So what's next in the Troy Glasgow story? Well, my agent is trying to get me in the room for this new Netflix drama. The opening? It's just sorting out all the politics you do with plane ages and all of that. Just got to trust the agent, really. I've worked with some of the best over the years. Gillian Andersons, Do Grey Scotts, Peter Capaldi's. I trust my talents. How old is the character? 24. I'm 35, but I've got a young face. Seventy-six Facebook likes and counting for my earlier status. Got a lot of people supporting. You know, there's been a lot of change recently. Moved agent. It was mutual. Streamlining, they said. I was transitioning into more adult roles. I was with Hobbs and Martin till I was 31. Good times. Then I moved to an agency called Evolve Talent. Bit more different. Fresher. Funkier. More contemporary. Some say I panicked. I don't think so. I landed a play as soon as I hit the agent. Toured it, got lots of promotion. The under 12s loved it. So what bit are you in, babe? What's that? It's been on half an hour already. Oh, don't worry, my scenes are coming up soon, babe. Just, just wait. She's so impatient. <sighs> Boom! Email from the agent. Looks like somebody's got an audition. Netflix, baby, here we come. See? Sometimes it's quiet, but you just gotta trust and keep the faith. An advert? That's cool. Done a few adverts in my time. Sony, Pepperami, the co-op. What's it for? Pound wavers? Sorry? Pound wavers. Just gonna use the loo quick. Are you sure you don't want another drink? Here we go, people. Penultimate scene to the ultimate scene. First bit of dialogue coming up. I even did my own stunts. Where have you been? Watch as our protagonist heads through the train station onto the concourse. That's almost exactly how it's written in the script. How do you remember your lines? It's mad how you can do that. Oh, it takes a lot of work, babe. You should know. I spent a week looking at half a page for this one. Right, here we go. Our protagonist walks through the barriers onto the platform. Meanwhile, a shifty looking man watches from behind one of the pillars. Are you gonna be the shifty man? He's always moaning about being sightcasted. It's typecast. Hold on, just keep watching. You're gonna miss it.
Where are you, babe? Yeah, I thought something was going to happen there. Nothing happened, he just got on the train. Where's the shifty man? Clever. Red herring. He delivered the envelope, switched the cases, and got away scot free. No bomb, no black violet. I didn't see that coming. Good twist, good twist. So, who was the black violet? Then you get it. That's the whole point. The black violet was fake, he never existed. That's got to be the best bit of telly I've seen all year. Wait, where were you, babe? Hey. You said your bit was coming. They must have cut the... I don't get it. Were you on the train? Happens to the best of them. Director's choice. I was the black violet. Got my audition today. 320, capable casting. It's with a lady called Susan Rhodes. She cast me before a while back. Short film for a charity campaign. I played a refugee. Troy Nicker! Where's me tenor? Hey, hey you wanker! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Bazza, that is. Ah, uh, idiot he is. <laughs> the banter. This is Terry, the boss. Got me a job down at Michelle's workplace. Well, she got it for me, really. More to fill in the time between acting jobs. Morning, Till. Don't bloody tell me. Now tell me, did you lot label those 50 boxes of paper tape with the square stickers on the top right hand of the box like I asked yesterday, Troy? Because between the four of you tarts in that warehouse, it's a bloody shambles. I've got complaints coming out my ears about how every time Scaff Kings make an order with us, which is bloody frequent, they always receive goods either on the wrong pallets or with the wrong friggin' labels. They are one of my top bloody customers, and I can't afford to have you jokers in the back fannying them about. Otherwise, they will bloody well pull their account with me. Us. And what's this? Oh, I'm just being followed around by a camera crew for my acting stuff. They're just following me around to see a typical week in the life of someone like myself. Someone like yourself? <laughs> Where's your high vis? Right here. Good. Good. We know what the health and safety report said. We don't want another Stevie Baker situation on our hands. <laughs> no, no, we don't. I had to shell out for a whole new bloody forklift after that. And a warehouse shutter. Took me weeks to get someone else as good as Stevie in. Shitty temps. Right. Your camera crew can film from a distance. Can't have them interrupting a day's business. 100 yards is fine. Right, Troy. I'll be out the back in a mo. And don't forget the bins in Unit 59. I'm leaving today at 12, remember today, Terry. I've got my audition at 3.20. A lot happens down a big industrial estate like the Bell Grove. Just the other day, old Bob at security came running into the scrim cell office at full pelt, shouting off about these two wrong uns trespassing early in the morning and siphoning petrol out of one of our company vans. Makes a big fuss about how no one need worry as he had taken down a license plate number. Did you catch the culprits then? Nah. Turns out Bob had taken down a number of the van that was being robbed from. Yeah, babe. Yeah, no, I'll be home about seven. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's cool. <laughs> Is that what you got for me, yeah?
So, this is where your little office is, is it? Hey, well, I've got to go. Back I've got to, go. to work yeah. now. So, tell. Yeah, you will be. Why did you do that job? I think it's good to know about the graft, you know? I mean, I've been to the premieres and the parties and they're fun, but I think real life is more important. I enjoy it. <laughs> you saw the banter. Hmm. So it's not about the money then? Every little helps. Oi, Tesco should pay me royalties, innit? <laughs> you know I did a co-op advert once, right? Well, twice technically. Have I said that? Mate, it's him. It's not. It's him, I'm telling you. I think they might recognise me. Ask Always him. when you least expect ask it. Ask him, ask him. You ask, ask him. him. <laughs> Probably want to put me on their Snapchat. What do you want to know, girls? <coughs> Are we in that film? Depends on what film you're talking about. The one with Adam Deacon? Kid adulthood. Adulthood? No, kid adulthood. You're the black guy in kid adulthood and you was in the bill. Well, I, I was in the bill. He gets once, hit with a baseball bat. I swear he died. I was like eight when that came up. <laughs> you must be old, <laughs> bruh. Oh, you, you think I'm... Let me Google it. Oh my God, can I get your autograph? Oh, mate. I've got bare these little pencils from Argos. They give them out for free, though. Ain't this envelope important? No, it's just my crisis line. Sign that, it's cool. Put your number down too, if you want. I should probably head to my audition. Just sign it. I can sell it on Facebook when you do another film. Don't you mean eBay? No. I can't find him. Baseball bat guy, what's the name? You should know it's you. You're probably actually talking about Amal Amin. Amal Amin, that's what he says here, yeah. There you are. Wait, that's not even you. Well, that's what I was trying to say, girls. I was an in adulthood. But you said you were. And the bill. I was in the bill once, but I was, I was in adulthood. Adulthood? You mean another hood with Adam Deacon? No, adulthood. It was the graveyard scene with... Forget Wait, was that the one with Stormzy? No, it was Noel Clark. Were well, in all of them? It was the second. Oh, no, I don't think I saw that one. I was too upset by the first one. The one you said you was in. Well, I didn't actually say I'm I was... I'm not sure if I saw that one. I might have seen it a few years ago at Becker's on Pirate. I was lean, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Have a nice day, yeah? See you boys tonight, I'm gonna go home and freshen up. Then we'll probably head to my audition. Never missed an audition, me. Proud of that. They'd have to cut my legs off for me to miss an opportunity. It's a funny old game, this. One minute you're sweeping floors in some warehouse, next minute you've got the opportunity to land three days' work in South Africa with an eight grand buyout on your contract. This is why we do this. So is that what Pound Wave are offering? Though? Nah, well, not this particular advert, nah. This one's offering more of a day fee and two days in one of their shops in Arlesden, but it all adds to the CV. There is the option of a national buyout clause, mainly the inner cities. A grand. Day fee, that's what they're paying extras on productions now, right? But the term is actually supporting artists. It's more of a principle supporting, supporting principle sort of gig. Wait, hold on. This game showed me you've got to help out when you can. Keeps your feet on the ground. Helping a less fortunate is needed. If I can change someone's day for the better, you know, cleanses the soul. Just looking for some... <laughs> oh, bless you, young man. You bless you. I haven't got any change, have you? Just a, just a joke.
this to you, young man. I've never seen such kindness. We better get a move on. <sighs> Tip one. Leave no stone unturned. Gives you a chance to grab a coffee, rehearse your lines, have a stroll. I always do a vocal warm as well. Prepare to fail. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. <laughs> Jeremy Irons told me that once on a National Theatre balcony. I wasn't there in a performance capacity that time. I was ushering. <clears throat> I'm gonna head in. Need to focus. Right. I'm gonna go and get in the zone. You little wait here, yeah? Got me script. Cheers. Right. Wish me luck. Wrong fucking. I've got the wrong place. It says here 197 capable casting Tottenham Court. Court. I swear it's a court. Oh, it's just Tottenham Road. We're meant to be in Dalston. Around, did you? Who's you? Are you being serious? It's me from earlier. What are you doing down there then? How did you even get drunk so quick? It's been like 20 minutes. You should watch where you're going. And you should watch where you're spending other people's time. Oh, your nose is bleeding. Yeah. Are these even clean? Well, they're cleaner than your face. I got those at the prep. The prep? Eat them well then. Yeah. What did he do, a lovely cinnamon flapjack? <laughs> Bro, are you even homeless? What? No. What makes you think that? Well, you were sitting by those tents. Oh, yeah. I had a seat while my girlfriend was in the bank. Watched the world go by. I am an artiste. But you took my tenner. Well, you offered it. But you're closed, like I said. I'm an artiste. Look, why don't you just come and have a drink with me, my girlfriend? No hard feelings. Ah. No, no, don't worry, you all right? Is he being serious? Is he being serious? So it's quarter to four, not too bad. Just come off the phone to the agent. She spoke to Susan and she said it's fine and they're gonna be there till, till five. Just gotta explain the blood and stench of alcohol on my clothes and it's all good. Mm. Shit. Pharrell Lewis. Every audition back in the day I used to see this guy. Done a few radio plays in that for the BBC. He's done all right still. Got a bit of a, 
competition thing going on. A bit like Michael Jackson v Prince or Messi v Ronaldo. <laughs> it's healthy though, keeps you on your toes. <laughs> yes, Burrell. Yeah, thanks. Long time, brother. Thanks for the love, brother. Uh, do you want a quick autograph or a selfie? You need to hurry up. Yo, Burrell, it's me, Troy. Right, uh, Troy um, Glasgow. Yo, what are you saying, man? Like, sorry, I didn't even recognise you, bro. You're looking well, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks, man. Uh, well, thanks, thanks. Uh, where have you been, like? I, I thought you quit acting. Nah. Nah, nah, bro. I... Still going. It's been years, though, man. Look at us, huh? <laughs> Grown and successful. <laughs> what, you just coming from the audition? Yeah, yeah, what, you going in there now? Yeah, 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 well... At least I know they're calling you up. They must have a decent budget to be getting us in. Well, apparently, like, it's supposed to be one of the biggest budgets ever. You know, they're pulling out all the stops for this one, so boy. Seriously? Yeah. Is that that going on? Yeah. What, well, and they only want to give us a day fee? Yeah, but that's when you're going to, like, do, like, a screen test at Pinewood. But they give you per diems as well. Like, that's when you know they're really considering you. Per diems? Yeah, trust me, I've been learning my lines all week for this, man. Where did you get the pages? Pages? Yeah. Like, did the courier bring it round and give you a confidentiality, like, agreement to sign? Ron insisted on it. Ron? Howard? Nah. Nah, I, I, I just saw the email yesterday. You're not going in for the pound waivers, Abbott, are you? <laughs> nah. Going for Time Cop, the remake. Oh. With Gerald Butler. Oh. But anyway, man like Troy, like, it's mad. Where, where you been? What you been up to? I've been here, man. Yeah? Yeah. What, you never, like, went out to America like everyone else? Nope. Nope. OK. OK. It's mad, I was like, I'm trying to think, when was the last thing I saw you in? Um, I saw you in the episode of Hobie. Yeah, that's it. When was that again? 2008. Oh, that was time ago. That was a good episode still. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, 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 from what I can remember. Yeah. I see you doing your thing though, man. Well done, and that, with the parting enders. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, like, it was, I'm not going to lie, I really enjoyed being part of the, uh, the Christmas storyline, and they say it's right up there with Den and Angie, so um, it's a good look for me, you know. But um, I'm going to be leaving there soon, because I've got to fly out to Toronto next year. Yeah, because, um, you know, I, I thought about it, and it's, it's a tough choice, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a choice that I'm, I'm going to have to make. Choice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, think about it. It's like a six-part drama for Amazon or like an okay-ish soap. I mean, it's no choice. yes. choices, eh? Exactly. <laughs> and I mean, if I get the time cop thing... <laughs> of course. More choices. That's what I'm saying. I mean, right now, like, I don't even recognise my own accent. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Like, yeah. um, I, should, I should head to my audition. All right, cool. Well, look, bruv, like, whatever it is you're going for, like, smash it, man. I, like, I know you're going to get it. It's yours. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Same to you with all your jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know this, man. Yeah. Maybe we should meet up soon, man, like, you know. Ah, uh, you know what? Um, I'm flying out in two weeks, yeah, and it's going to be a bit mad, like, so for time and that. But um, are you on Instagram? Yeah, I follow you already. For real? Yeah. Ah, um, uh, well, you know what? If I get a chance, I'll try and follow you back, innit? Yeah, but, yeah. like, I I'll see you in it. but take it easy, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, 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 nice, nice, nice. Yeah, stay black, innit? Good guy. <laughs> Good guy. <laughs> I was at his first ever audition, that guy. He's done well. <laughs> we, should, we should probably head on. Right, mate. You all right. In for pound waivers, yeah. Yeah. You? Yeah. Good luck. Cheers. You too. <laughs> Depending on how you look at it, this could either go totally for me or totally against me. 
should probably head in. Wish me luck. Yeah, yeah, good luck. I don't actually look like I've had a drink, do I? Come on then, how'd it go? Well, it didn't start off great with the questions. I had a good read though, to be honest. Can you turn the camera off? Thanks. It's a funny old game, this. I think the trick is to try and get the work-home balance right. As long as you've got that, I think you're on the right path. <laughs> Stay there. Stay there. Where the fuck have you been? I've just spent the last three hours fighting off three bastard bailiffs trying to take my stuff because of you. My car, babe, my fucking car. <laughs> what the fuck are you playing at? Why have you not been answering my calls? But, calm down, calm I've been down. busy. Calm you fucking tell me to calm down. One more time. You know I hate when people tell me to calm down. I am fed up, babe. I am fucking fed up. If you don't stop pissing about with your share of the money, I am done, babe. I am fucking done. I'll pay my fair share too. Listen, your PlayStation subscription and your Sky box office does not count. But what about last Thursday at Darren's do? You're not exactly perfect, are you? Excuse me, me doing gear is not the same as you not paying your fucking rass cut bills. Why are you talking so bloody loud? Your face is pissing me off. What the fuck are you wearing? Where the fuck have you been today? Shh, Why does this drink shh, shh, smell like shh. a freaking brewery? You've been drinking. We'll pick it back up tomorrow morning, yeah, guys? Meet me at work, yeah? They right. best be paying you. If people are paying you, you need to put some food on the table in this house. Where's my chicken, bruv? Where's my fucking chicken? Fucking get up them stairs. Dickhead. Should we just come back later? Hold on, wait a moment. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can. Hey. Shit. What time is it? Nine o'clock. That's I'd ring him for half an hour. I thought we were meeting at your workplace. Yeah. 17 missed calls. Terry. Shit. Shit, 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 uh, hold on. Well, I prefer if you're not actually, with... Just follow your tongue. <sighs> Fell asleep on the sofa. I was watching a film in that. World War Z. Made the cut that time. Good film. Just gonna head up for a shower in that, yeah? <clears throat> right. So it's coming up to 10. Not too bad. Michelle was working off site today. So no lift. Caught the bus. Probably a good thing. She was a bit tetchy this morning. Wrong side of the bed and all that. Hi, Julia? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, 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 camera crew's still here. Still filming. Yeah, yeah, it's going well. Cheers, yeah, I'll let them know. Yeah, it was a great idea. Gives people a chance to get to know the real me. Yeah? All right, what did they say? What, I got the part? <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! Yeah, that's good news, man. Much needed, Julia, I'm telling you. So what's the day fee, then? Oh. All right. Well, that's fine, I suppose. That's the rent covered for at least a month. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely up for it. Cheers. All right. Yeah, I'll wait for their call. All right, Julia. Thanks. Take care. See ya. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> See? Sometimes you just got to trust and keep the faith. Just got an offer from Pound Wavers. 
got the part. Two days work. Not the biggest job I've ever done, but it's good to know you're still in the loop. Validation. Good exposure. Ad will be running for at least a month, they said. Satellite TV. Probably the daytime audience. Where the bloody hell have you been? Terry, I am so, so sorry. I... Sorry? <laughs> We've two 40-footers in this morning. One with netting, one full of pallets of Corex, a stack of orders waiting to be done, Fast Tracker already in, there's no staff because Mandy couldn't get her act together and bloody call the agency on time. And here you come, swanning in, one hour and 45 minutes late with your Hollywood pals giving it the Omar Sharif. Who? I can't keep doing this, Troy. I want to make some changes. Tell. Right, in my office, please. And your camera crew can bugger off and all. Do you know what? I don't even need that job anyway. It was more for a bit of extra change, you know? At least it gives me a chance to focus on what I've got to focus on. At least I've got this Poundway biz gig coming up. Will give me a month's respite until I can find something else. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't even need that proxy job. Hi, <laughs> right, Julia. <laughs> yeah, more good news for me, I hope. Eh? Hey? What? Penciled? But... Doesn't that mean... But you... Oh. Fine. That's alright. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, Julia. No, it's an easy mistake to make. It happens. Alright. Thanks for letting me know. Speak to you soon. Bye. you got to roll with the punches sometimes. People say to me, Troy, how do you do it? I don't know. Takes a lot of sacrifice. To be honest, this life is all I know. I've been doing it since I was 17. It's all I want to do. It will happen. Everything is for a reason. Sometimes things show themselves in ways you would never imagine. Yeah, that's why I, I was looking for something flexible, you see. I'm an actor. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds great. All right, I'll, I'll look out for the email. All right, thank you. Uh, before you go, it says here that it's for one of your warehouse positions, but it doesn't say who? How? Poundman. So when's the interview? 